For over 50 years, we've traveled with the world's best photographers. Our planet is a source of limitless inspiration for their images, and we must do everything we can to protect it. We believe in the power of photography, and we believe in the photographers who are helping to bring meaningful change through their work. These photographers are advocates for their environmental missions, using their talent to raise awareness and inspire action. Photography has the power to inspire people to take action, and we're proud to be part of that movement. Use photography as a voice to protect our planet and inspire change. Take action. My name is Paul Ziska. I'm a professional photographer based out of the Canadian Rockies. I'm a lover of cold places. I absolutely love glaciers. And I'm here today at the Athabasca Glacier to document two things, the beauty of these icy landscapes, but also the rapidly occurring changes. It seems we're only decades, maybe even a decade away from some of this ice disappearing altogether. Some of the ice featured in photographs taken just a few years ago is already gone. And with rising temperatures, we risk the melting of our polar regions and the world's glaciers. Cryophilia is a glacial pursuit to document vanishing ice around the globe. So I highly recommend people go out there and have those very special experiences with the landscape. Uh, I believe that it's only once we have those experiences that we're going to start to really care and want to protect those very special places. G'day guys, my name's Craig Parry, low pro professional and nature photographer. In 2021, I became a representative of Collabora Oceans, a collective of creatives collaborating for ocean conservation. My mission is to connect the youth of today to the ocean. And with this connection, whether it's through imagery or experience, I believe this will encourage a lifelong advocacy in protecting our marine environment. I've always been intrigued and inspired by the natural world. My goal as a photographer is to inspire others just to get outside and experience it. As I've been fortunate enough to take photos in various parts of the world from Greenland and Alaska to Sri Lanka and Taiwan, I've seen the effects of climate change firsthand. To combat these effects, I've created Forest for the Future. It's a charity focused on reforestation of parts of the world that have been hit hardest due to overlogging of forest fires. It's estimated 80% of the world's forests have been destroyed, which is why our mission is to replant 10 million trees by 2025. 